I bought the brand new Switch OLED from Nintendo, and in this video, we're gonna unbox it, test it out, tear it down, see if it's any good, and see if it's any different than previous Switch consoles. So this special edition Switch OLED just came out, and it has a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate theme, which is pretty strange considering this game came out like, what, five years ago at this point. Uh, but it comes with the game, it comes with a three month individual membership of Nintendo Online, and of course, your special edition Switch OLED, which looks kind of lame, to be honest, right up front. Uh, but the box art on the front is cool. It's got, you know, all your characters here. And flipping to the side, we've got some additional art and stuff and basically just saying the same thing as the front where you got your switch oled you got the game you got your online membership and by the way this goes for 350 which is actually a pretty good price for this because smash bros of course still sells for like 60 bucks flip into the back it's got some cool graphics again shows all your characters here uh, but let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside i am curious if this is somehow different than other oleds or if they're just decided to put out a new oled bundle just to pump the numbers of smash bros I, I don't know you know just nintendo things but here we go right off the bat looks pretty standard we've got our standard gray joy cons which are like <laughs> kind of a throwback to the og joy cons when this thing first came out in 2017 because it had this gray color which is pretty basic and not bad but nothing special except this does have the Smash Bros. icon, which I guess is pretty cool. We'll pull this out though and take a closer look at that later. Now here is the Switch console itself, and I'm curious if it has, nope, yeah, it's not special at all. All right, come on, Nintendo. All right, let's put that to the side. And then we, of course, have our uh, full game download here, which, yep, you had to scratch it off there and it'll give you the full game. You also got your three month online membership, which you scratch off and enter that into your account and get that for free. Now, one thing I wanna do real quick is actually compare this box to another special edition switch oled so there's a few differences here now first of all the splatoon switch oled i bought i don't know three years it basically came out like pretty soon after the oled came out and this one's actually pretty cool it's a it's a true special edition where it has uh different joy cons you know the cool colors it's got the switch dock with the splatoon splatter on the front um you got some cool graphics all over it so it's kind of a stark difference between these two whereas this one is truly a special edition this one is more of a bundle with like a light special edition very slight um so that's a little disappointing there but we'll uh we'll do some more comparisons later and i forgot or i didn't even notice but there's actually yeah it's just your health and safety guide that nobody will ever read and then we'll keep digging into this thing and see what else is inside of here so we've got our our standard hdmi cable that appears to be the same hdmi cable they've been inclu including with these things for five or six years now uh, yeah, six years actually. And then we've got a little Joy-Con holder, which is absolutely nothing special. Just the same one that's been coming with it for six years now. And then of course our power brick as well. And I always forget we got these these little Joy-Con straps hidden down here. Uh, now, I will note that on the side here, we've got some cool little graphics. And it's not really graphics, it's just like a cool design on the inside, I guess. I, I don't know, I'm just trying to find anything inside of this console that's somewhat cool. Now, last but not least, come on, man. Give me something special about the dock. Something, something special. Please, 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 maybe, and yeah, nothing. Straight up just a plain black OLED dock, which is fine. I mean, it's really just gonna kind of confirm since this is not a special edition in the least bit. Um, it's just a straight up a Switch OLED with some free, free stuff included for Black Friday. And uh, which is kind of disappointing because they actually did have a special edition Smash Bros. Switch that came out when Smash Bros came out. And it would've been cool if they did basically the same thing here, but with the Switch OLED. Um, but of course, yeah, the dock is nice. It is a Switch OLED dock, which this thing pops off really easily. And then of course you have your LAN port, HDMI out, AC adapter, all that good stuff. And I guess let's just put all this stuff to the side and go ahead and turn the console on and see uh, what it does. Are you a PC gamer? Well, even if you're not, you should check out my other channel called Smoke and Silicon, where I unbox, test, and tear down interesting PCs. We've already made videos on a Mac Studio from Timu. Uh, we've torn down cheap laptops and a bunch of other stuff, so go check it out. Cool, so it boots right up. Uh, we'll pull these Joy-Cons out and take a closer look at them. And yeah, so it is just straight up a gray Joy-Con with your little Smash Bros line kind of just printed on there, which looks cool, but again, like, <laughs> that is literally the only special thing about this console is the, uh, yeah, this, this just printed online there. I guess let's put these Joy-Cons on and uh, make sure the console works. So I got the console booted up and it is working and we'll make some comparisons here in a minute. But I want to take a second to uh, talk about how infuriating the game card slot is on the OLED. Um, it's already a bit hard to open on the regular Switch, but the OLED, I don't know why, but it's just like more difficult to open. And I just cut my fingernails like a day ago and I, I straight up cannot pull this thing open. Like my fingernails are not long enough to open it. Oh, there we go. I finally got it open. 
Uh, if you guys, <laughs> you guys might not know what I'm talking about if you have a Switch OLED, where if you have like really short nails, you just like, it's very hard to get this thing open. Um, let's go ahead and put a game in there and make sure that works. I will say, I think this is the first time I've played Smash Bros on a Switch OLED, and this, this game looks amazing. I mean, all, pretty much every game looks great on the Switch OLED because it's an OLED and the colors are so vibrant, but this game is especially because there's just so many different characters here with different colors and they just, they really pop. But we're gonna, I mean, this is a Smash Bros OLED. Let's go ahead and do some Smash Bros gameplay and just see how it looks. We're starting out here pretty lean on how many characters we have. So we're gonna go with Link. Uh, I'm pretty, uh, let me know down below, what's your, what's your Smash Bros character? I'm, I'm you know, I'll, I'll flex between people. Sometimes I go, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll do, I'll play as anybody, honestly. But let's go ahead and go with, with Link this time and just uh, see if we can put that work in against, oh, Kirby. I'll be honest, I have not played this game in probably three years, and it shows. No, 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 no. Crap. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I missed. How did I miss? Oh, crap. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, this game for sure looks really good on an OLED, and... I'll say not too bad for not playing in three years, but um, let's go ahead and do some comparisons here. So first thing I want to do is compare this to another another Switch OLED and just see if they've changed anything about the screen, you know, updates to it, uh, just the whole work. So let's, let's do that comparison now. So here in the bottom, I have a mismatched Switch, which is just my, <laughs> I have my Animal Crossing Joy-Cons and I have my Splatoon uh, Switch OLED. And you can just see like how much cooler this is, the fact that they have just these graphics ingrained here on the back of the Switch OLED, whereas the Smash Bros OLED is just, plain, which again, for the price, uh, you know, can't complain too much. Now, I want to compare the screens of these two, and you can see they both have auto brightness off and they have full brightness turned on. And I will say, I think my Switch OLED, Splatoon Switch OLED here on the bottom is actually a tad brighter and maybe a tad bit cooler, which uh, it's going to be really hard to tell on camera, but that's definitely the, definitely the case here. Now, there's two cases here. They could be using a new version of the Switch OLED screen, which is, I, I highly doubt that is, that's the case. It's probably just a fact of like, it's, it's manufacturing, guys. Like sometimes screens are slightly different, which is not a huge deal. I mean, there's really not a big enough difference there to, to notice a difference unless you're side by side, uh, but just something interesting to note. And uh, I do want to try to pull up, maybe, maybe I'll pull up like a red game or something just to compare the colors. So I'm waiting for a download. And while we do that, I do want to flip these switches over and see if there's any difference in like model numbers or uh, just any other obvious differences here. So flipping them over, they both do have that same kind of rough texture on the back of the OLED, which is nice. It actually helps for grip, I think. And then they have the nice kickstand that's actually useful instead of the crappy one that originally came with the Switch. Now, looking at the model numbers here, well, actually, first of all, you'll notice they both have the micro SD card in the same spot, so they're the same in that aspect. Um, now, looking at the uh, model numbers here, they're both HEG001, so no difference there. Although I will note that the new Smash Bros OLED Switch has two lines of texture on the back instead of just one line, which really doesn't mean anything except for the fact that they did change something. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, wait for this download to do, do its thing, compare the screens again, and then we'll do a little quick teardown and see if they change anything obvious on the inside. Sorry, one more thing while we're waiting for the download. I wanted to compare these two Switch docks real quick. You can see the Smash Bros dock on the top, the Splatoon one on the bottom. You can just see the, you know, the difference between the plain one and the nice, uh, nice customized one. So yeah, just uh, kind of disappointing they didn't put something cool together for this one. So I got a screenshot of Smash Bros on both of these consoles to do a little comparison. I also flopped them around to give us a different perspective, but right off the bat, they're, they're both very vibrant reds. Like I don't see any obvious differences there. I just wanted to kind of do a comparison. Now, there is actually one difference I can tell, and that's the fact that the font here of Smash is different than that font of Smash. Now, I think that's just because of an update. Like I just updated the copy of the game on this console, but not this console. So I guess in an update at some point, they changed the font, which doesn't matter at all, but I just think that's kind of interesting. But anyways, let's go ahead and tear these two consoles down and compare them and see if there's any internal differences now. So I just wanted to make a note here that I found another Nintendo Switch on Amazon that's actually a much better deal than the one you're looking at in the video. So first of all, it is $356, so only $6 more than the Switch you're looking at in the video. And it comes with the white OLED Switch, which in my opinion looks better than the one, uh, than, than the Smash Bros. Special Edition one. And not only that, but it comes with some special gift wrapping for the console. So it comes in like this kind of cool holiday box. Uh, by the way, this is a Japanese Switch, which is, the Switch is region free, so not a big deal. Um, but just something, something to note. It also comes with Smash Bros, just like the console in this video. And then it also comes with a protective film, a multifunctional main unit storage pouch, and a card pocket. I'm not sure what all of that is, but it's just a, you know, free stuff. And then also a cork coaster, so like a coaster for your drink or whatever. So I, I don't know, just a pretty cool stuff here for only six bucks more. And guys, while we're tearing this down, can we just talk about the fact that Nintendo is still selling Switches for $350 six years after they came out? I mean, that's 
$50 more than the original Switch came out for, which to be fair, they gave it an OLED screen upgrade, but still just the fact that there is a Switch that costs $50 more than it did when it came out six years ago is just kind of insane to me and I think to most people, but that's just Nintendo things. I mean, to be fair, they're still selling these things like crazy, so I can't blame them for keeping the price the same. Like if you can still sell them and make record numbers and you might as well keep selling them for the same amount. I don't know, man, but let's keep going here. And uh, I do actually have this torn all the way down. I was gonna tear down my other Switch as well, but what I ended up doing is just comparing this to a photo of another Switch OLED, just the insides. Everything looks exactly the same, which is unsurprising. I mean, it was it was worth a tear down here, but of course we still have our, our super goopy thermal paste here, if you wanna call it that. Like I don't even, I feel like this thing would last forever without even having thermal paste there um or i don't know what they want to call that but uh, we also got you know of course our battery or fan everything literally everything looks exactly the same again not surprising and thanks for watching guys let me know down below if you think this new switch is worth 350 dollars, and let me know when you think the switch 2 is coming out but guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time